R.I.T. Davis. Oh man, I can't believe I'm can't believe I'm doing this. Okay. Um, so my friend T. Davis, Tiffany, I can't believe you. It is 10:20 right now. I could be asleep in my big, comfy, king-size bed, but where am I? I'm sitting here making a 10 things I hate video for you. So be appreciative, woman. Okay. So let's see. Number 10. Um, I really, really, really don't like when you're on the freeway and you put on your directional light that you need to get over and then the person next to you, they decide to speed up. Like, what that? What is that? Like, I'm sorry, I need to get over, but I won't let you over. Just cause an accident. Like, that's awesome. Not. Okay, um, number nine. Oh, God, I can't see it in my eyes. I'm like... The light behind me, ha ha! The light behind me is like reflecting off my eyes. Um, okay, so number nine, I really don't like when you go to get your nails done, and um, when you go to get your nails done, and mm, there's not really a good way to say this when you go to get your nails done, and they're not speaking English, and you feel like they could possibly be talking about you, but you're not positive on that, so then it becomes like this big, awkward, like jumble of a mess where they all just stare at you and then you don't know what to do. You're kind of just stuck. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, number eight. What was number eight? Oh! Um, yeah. I really not a fan um, of when you go to give a homeless person money and then they get mad at you for not giving them enough money and then you kind of want to take back the money you just gave them but you can't because then you'd be just taking money back that you just gave out of the pureness of your heart and then just this big awkward mess. And then, um, <laughs> I don't like it when, oh, number seven, excuse me, um, when telemarketers call and then there's just like this really awkward silence, just get on the phone and say what you want to say. Hi, I'm so-and-so. No. Click. Like, I'm sorry. I don't want to talk to you. I don't have time to talk to you. If I had time, I'd sit and wait for ten minutes until you answered the phone to talk to you. So, that's... N no. Okay. Number six. Um... Oh. I really don't like it when, like, 20-plus-year-old people, they look like they're in junior high because they start throwing a fit in the middle of the mall. Like, I saw that legitimately the other day where this, like, 20-something girl... She was, like, you know, doing the whole, like, wedding crashers deal where she was doing that thing. And I just, I couldn't, I, I was, you know, gonna bleep myself because I was just scared of what she just did. Like, I was, I, I don't even know, okay? <laughs> My lovely number five. Um, number five... When children are just too grown to, like, when you are past the age of, like, I don't know, maybe five, you shouldn't, um, get, hmm, how can I say this without being, if you can walk, you shouldn't be breastfeeding your child. It's just awkward and uncomfortable and... Um, you might not be five, but you sure look it, so... <laughs> it doesn't... Okay, that just makes me uncomfortable. Okay, number four. Um... I don't really know. Um, oh, this is a good one. Number four, when you are at, like, a restaurant or something, and, like, the waiter just makes it really... Like, they don't want to be there serving you, like, yeah, what do you want? Hi, my name's, let's use a fake name, my name's Chris, and I'm here to get your order, what can I get you? Player, if you were just gonna act that, you need a depends, like, do, do you, I'm not a depends. See, Tiffany, this is what you do to me when I'm, I'm tired and I can't, a depends. No, you don't need a diaper. No. Do you need a Wellbutrin? That's what I meant to say. I don't know where diaper and Wellbutrin, depression medicine, where that came into play, but anyway, 
Yeah, no, when a waitress or a waiter does not want to be at your table, and they make it very clear that they don't want to be at your table, and then they just... I don't know, number three. Um... Oh, when people take... I have a dog, she's really small, she's only 10 pounds, but when people take their dogs everywhere with them, like they can't... Like it's their, their, their child... Like, it's not your child. Your child doesn't have four legs. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, it doesn't bark and, and poop wherever it pleases. I... It's just really awkward to me when people get, like, obsessive and they start dressing like their pets. I, I don't even know. That just creeps me out beyond belief. And I love my dog with all my heart. But there is no way in itchy double hockey stick that I would make her dress like me on an average day. If she did, she'd be the hottest little... I should get her a little toy Mustang to go along with mine. That'd be sick. Okay. God, I gotta get through these last two. I have the biggest headache in the world, and I'm not even staring at the camera. Okay. Number two. <laughs> Number two. Um... I don't know, player. I'm tired. I... Number two, when <laughs> when you're at the grocery store, <laughs> this is good, when you're at the grocery store and you need help with something and like the people that work there, <laughs> represent Evergreen, when the, um, when the people work there and it's clear that they like try to dodge you, like they don't want to ask you what's wrong because they have other things to do but like you need help because you're at the grocery store and you can't find something and then they'll tell you that they're you're not in their area to like help you I, I think like I had that happen to me once I was at the grocery store and I said oh I you know I can't find this can you help me and the guy was like oh I'll call over Larry he's not you're not in the right I'm not in your department I'm over in the meats I'm sorry you're supposed to know where everything is that's why it's a grocery store and that's why you work there because you got hired to work there so that you know where everything is and it, I don't care if you work in the meats you can work in the freaking organic section for all I care and if you don't know where everything is there's a problem there um and number one <laughs> this is nice when you see somebody who is obviously claustrophobic. Um, player, you shouldn't be out in public. If you have claustrophobia and you're out in public, especially around Christmas, Black Friday, that'd be my favorite time to see somebody who has claustrophobia out in public. That'd be awesome. Like, they're just, <laughs> don't touch me, don't. No, okay, I'm sorry. But no, when you see somebody who has, like, severe claustrophobia, like, ones that need, like, the bag, and they're out in public, and you say hi to them, and it's just like this. Like, I'm sorry, they have something for that. It's called a psychiatric ward. I'm... I don't know. So, Tiffany, I hope you're happy. Those are your top ten things I hate. I'm sure I could go on and on, but I'm tired. I want to go to bed. It's almost 10.30, and you've kept me up more than I wanted to be up, so... I love you, and um, this is just for kicks and giggles on your, on my end, Tiffany. So I hope you enjoy, you know, the festivities. Here comes Christmas! Woo! Yay! Wee! <laughs> okay, all right, Mama Africa out.